guys, I'm Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Britt Myers, and I want to take a minute to talk about gear ratios and 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 how to select, you know, a, a low gear to a high speed gear rate uh, ratio reel. You know, we'll start out with like, um, you know, fishing jigs, things like that. Uh, when you make a long cast with a jig and you're working through your structure, as soon as you're done, you want to reel it in extremely fast so you can make another cast to get your bait right back out there. That's whenever a high speed retrieve is, is crucial. When you're uh, fishing spinner baits really fast or crank baits really fast, you know, a high speed reel is crucial. Now, you know, a medium retrieve, like a 6-3 to 1, something like that, what's really good about it is, you know, when you're fishing the, the medium sized crank baits, are you fishing spinner baits or jerk baits? Things like that where you you know you want to cover water, but you don't need to be extremely fast, and it doesn't kill your arm, you know, to fish it all day. That's when like a six three to one is perfect. And, and usually when you see like a four seven to one gear ratio, like Pinnacle makes in their cranking reel, what that's what that's for is when you're throwing those giant, you know, crank baits with the with the big bills, and when you make a long cast with one of those, you know, it loads the rod up so bad that, you know. If you don't use a low gear ratio reel, it'll at the end of the day you won't be able to fish it all day long. So it's key that you use that low gear ratio reel when you're deep cranking, the six three to one when you're doing all your medium action stuff, and when you really need to burn a bait or you need to you know get a bait back really quick, you go to that seven three to one.